Okay, Math 2020 students, here is the supplemental video number two to our section 1.2 about length. And we're going to do a little commentary on a metric system with length. Okay. So the metric system was invented by the French scientists in the late uh, 1700s. In the late 1700s, it, they, um, as we know, the U.S. customary system has its roots for, from ancient times, Roman times, medieval times, long time ago, and but it was very complicated, okay, uh, and it, it uh, and and the, there was many units, and that it, the, the conversions were like weird numbers, uh, and so the reasons why the French scientists wanted to do a different system was to Number one, replace uh, many units with just a few. Okay, and then they also wanted to simplify conversions. Using base 10. using the base 10 okay and so it's interesting to note that in the 1030 book it has a historical note about the uh, metric system and it says the French inventors of the metric system drew inspiration from the founding fathers of the United States so Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin both served as ambassadors to France and from the US uh, back when it just formed and they promoted the decimal base measurement so base 10 measurement. Jefferson even devised our decimal currency, which uses $1 for 100 cents. In 1790, with the support of President Washington, Thomas Jefferson, who was then the Secretary of State, proposed the adoption of the metric system to Congress. And had Congress agreed, the United States would have been the first country to adopt the metric system, ahead of France, who eventually adopted it in 1795. So it's kind of interesting that, that we have roots in this system, but we still haven't accepted it yet as a whole nation by a vote from Congress. So uh, we are using U.S. customary. The U whole rest of the world uses this metric system, except for, let's see, there was a couple of countries that also uses it. So the United States is one of only three countries in the world that have not fully adopted the metric system. The other two countries are Liberia and Myanmar, though both of them are in the process of converting to the system. So we, we are pretty much the only ones in the whole world to use this system. Well, okay, so the, the basic unit of length, and so we start with length, and when, they, when the French had invented this, started with length, and so the basic unit... of length is the meter, okay? The meter is a distance, and so what did the French do initially to determine this basic unit of length, okay? So they used the earth as a metaphor, okay? So we have the earth here. This is a representation of the earth. This is the equator. Okay, and then this up here is the North Pole. And so we have the North Pole. So when the French did this, they had a guy that they found at the North Pole. Santa Claus. It looks like a mad Santa Claus, though. 
But anyway, so he, uh, the French scientist found this North Pole. And the distance for the meter is you take this distance right here from the equator down to the up to the North Pole and divide that by 10 million. You divide that by 10 million and you got it, which is interesting. I'm not sure how they knew this distance or why they decided that. Okay, so one meter. One ten millionth the distance from the equator North Pole. Okay. Well, we have that distance, and it's about three feet, or, and we, um, oh yeah, and then in the 60s, another technical history note, in the 60s, uh, they redefined the meter by referring to the speed of light, um, and so it's nearly, nearly the same, but it's slightly different. But anyway, still the same, still about the same as ever. So when they have the units um, for meter, they have that di that distance determined. Okay, but they also needed larger units. And so they, they uh, took their meter, and then remember their goal was to make a simple conversions, a uh, few units, so they did 10 meters. So you put 10 of those together, and they set that equal to one uh, hectometer. No, one decameter. Okay, so 10 units, one decameter. Now, decameter is a uh, abbreviated DKM, and this is all U.S. spelling. Okay, so the English spelling in England is decameter. Okay, so that is their abbreviation. Okay, so that's England. Don't use that here. But the metric people that the countries that have the metric system don't really use the decameter anyway, really. Okay, so they they have this meter length. It's kind of long, but not super super long. But they put ten of them together. They make a decameter, and and ten decameters, so a hundred meters. As you remember, when folks have multiples of meters. Ten decameters is equal to one hectometer. Okay, or and the and the abbreviation is um, HM. Okay, if you put a thousand meters together, or a hundred decameters together, or ten hectometers together. you get one kilometer and that abbreviation is km okay one kilometer so what they do use mostly is they use meters okay so use meters mostly and then they also use kilometers mostly for the big unit okay. and the intermediate units of decameter and hectometer are not used frequently so this is the conversion that is used the most, where we have a hundred, a thousand meters for one kilometer. Okay. All right, going to smaller units. Okay, they needed smaller units. Okay. 
So smaller units, well, we'll take our meter and we're going to divide it into 10 parts. So 1 tenth of a meter is equal to 1 decimeter. Okay. And that's abbreviated dm. Okay, so the, let's see, 1 hundredth of a meter, we're going to take our meter and divide it into, into another power of 10, is equal to 1 tenth of a decimeter which is equal to one centimeter. And that's CM. Okay. So one-tenth, notice that one-tenth is deci, one-hundredth is centi. Okay, those are um, Latin prefixes. If we take a look at our um, ten and deca, and our, our deca right here, like decade, so that's Greek prefixes, 100 hecto, 1,000 kilo. Okay, so those are Greek prefixes. So multiples of the, of the unit are from Greek prefixes, and partial units are from Latin prefixes for the metric system. Quite ingenious, isn't it? Uh, then we have 1 1,000th one of a meter equals 1 hundredth of a decimeter equals one-tenth of a centimeter. It's equal to one millimeter. Okay, milli means thousand. And then the abbreviation for that one is MM, okay, millimeter. All right, so which ones do we use most frequently in the metric system? Well, we use, um, we use uh, centimeters for length, small lengths, and millimeters for small lengths. We don't use decimeters all that much, um, and so the, the conversions that we have are uh, a meter is a hundred. Okay, so the conversions that we use mostly are meters and centimeters. So when we convert um, with meters, we don't usually use fractions. We, we will a little bit. But what we mostly do is that we say, okay, well, there's going to be a thousand millimeters in one meter. There's going to be a hundred centimeters in one meter, and there's going to be ten decimeters in one meter. Okay, these are the conversions that we'll use uh, mostly. Okay. Well, speaking of conversions, let's do some. Okay. So, example number one. Let's convert one point four five meters into some number of centimeters. Okay, so I use my conversion factors, which are based off of the equations above. So 1.45 meters. Now I need meters to cancel, so I put one meter down here and 100 centimeters here. Okay, we'll cancel, and I have 100, or sorry, 1.45 times 100 centimeters. Now, 1.45 times 100, and any conversions for the numbers-wise is simple in metric system because I, they use base 10 conversions, okay? So all I have to do is take my decimal here, times it by 100 means I move it to the right two places because there's two zeros here, and then I have my number, 145 centimeters. Okay. Let's do example number two. Convert. 3.57 kilometers equals some number of meters. Okay, and so I'm going to write my 3.57 kilometers for one, multiply it by. Now I made a kilometers a cancel. For every one kilometer, there's a thousand meters. Those will simplify there. And I end up with 3.57 times a thousand meters. And which is equal to, well, here I'm going to multiply by 1,000, move this over, decimal over three places, one, two, three, fill it in with the zero because there's three zeros there. And in the end, I have three, five, seven, zero meters. Okay, let's do another example, example number three. Just two more examples. 
convert 275 centimeters is equal to blank number of meters. Okay. 275 centimeters over 1. Multiply by. Well, we need centimeters on the bottom to cancel at diagonals, and there's 100 centimeters for 1 meter. And so I'm going to simplify that way. And I have 275 divided by 100 total meters. Now, dividing by 100 is easy because it'll base 10. My decimal, if I had one, would be here, and I move this one to the left two places, okay, and then put it there 2.75 meters. And example number four, our last one, convert. 43,507, oops, let's do 507 meters into a certain number of kilometers. Okay. So I'm going to write this down, 43,507 meters over 1, multiply by. My conversion factor says that there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer, and I need meters on the bottom so they can cancel at diagonals here. So I'm going to fill in 1,000 here and 1 kilometer here. So that's going to be equal to 43,507 over 1,000 kilometers. When I divide by 1,000 here, I'm going to take my decimal, move it to the left, 1, 2, 3 places, put it down there. So I have 43 decimal, 507 kilometers. Okay, and so those are my conversions to practice. Hope you enjoyed these supplemental videos to know a little bit more about the way we measure things, measure lengths.